Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be an organize with me. I'm only doing like three things. I'm organizing my workout pants. I'm going to go through and kind of organize my Christmas outfits. And then I organize my nightstand. I didn't have much that needed to be organized, but the stuff that did need to be organized had been needing to be that way for a while. And the reason I organize my Christmas workouts, workout outfits, is because it's just easier than going through at the beginning of every week and going, okay, I've worn these, I haven't worn these, so I just lay them all out, lay them out with the shirts that I'm probably, I'll probably wear with them. And, and yes, I know this video is going up after Christmas, so you're seeing that after Christmas, but I didn't have any other time to post it because every other video had already gone up. So if you're seeing this before Christmas, it's because something got changed. And if you're seeing this after Christmas, then well, either way, or <laughs> Christmas workout clothes. And I don't care when you're when this video goes up. I don't care what is included in this video as long as it motivates you to do something. Because I have found since October that me or me. So for me. Organizing my workout pants is basically just me going through this bin and refolding some of them because they don't always necessarily get put away in the nicest fashion. Sometimes it just gets shoved in the bin, sometimes it gets thrown in the bin. It's just really depends on what kind of mood I'm in and how I feel at the time when I'm putting away laundry in the morning because it's my workout clothes so it gets hung dry on a particular night and at least I try to do it on a particular night at least that way. <laughs> I don't, I'm one of the, I have OCD really bad when it comes to when I'd like to do my laundry, so. <laughs> Usually my hang dry stuff gets done on Thursday nights and then gets put away on Friday morning, so. Yeah, and believe it or not, I did get rid of that pair of workout leggings laying right next to the bin there. Because as I was going through this, I was thinking, you know what, I'm doing this before Christmas. And I know I'm going to get new workout clothes for Christmas. And I know I need to get rid of some stuff. And that is one pair of leggings I just don't like. So I parted ways with it. And for me to get rid of workout pants, that's a huge deal. If you've been here for a while, you know that. Okay, so the next thing I did was organize my nightstand. I just bought these containers at Dollar Tree, came in a three pack, and this is what my nightstand looked before, this top drawer anyway. The bottom, the second drawer on my nightstand is socks. And this really isn't that bad, but it was driving me crazy because I never knew where anything was. Or I would have to dig for it, and I don't like doing that at night when I'm trying, when I'm laying in my bed. So I measured out how many would fit, I needed in there and if I wouldn't have my blood pressure cuff in there I could have fit all three but I, don't, I didn't need all three I just needed two of them so when I put like my lotions and my little hand cream and all that stuff in and the other one I put like batteries and other weird things I put batteries in there because I do keep my blood pressure cuff in there so and 
Yes, I know. I have a thing at table warmers. I'm not using them in my shoes. I'm using them <laughs> for my red paint. So, yeah. They stick to clothes. So, <laughs> that's what I've been using for my red paint. So, that's why I have those in there. So, finally, I'm getting to organizing my Christmas workout clothes. I did a video where I showed my de me decluttering my seasonal clothes and getting out my Christmas stuff and I thought about including that in this video or including this clip of me organizing my workout clothes in that video but as it turns out I didn't get to around, around to organizing my Christmas clothes on the same day so yeah this is what you get and Rowdy and Nugget both came to help with this something about when I get out workout clothes or clothes in general and lay them on my bed here come my two little monkeys because they have to lay on them and they have to roll on them and they have to make sure they get completely furry and <laughs> honestly I don't really care I have cats getting keeping the cat fur off this stuff is not possible and it's not like they're actually hurting it I don't think they're hurting it <laughs> hurting it to me would be if they put a hole in it and at that point I would be done and I'd probably disown my cats <laughs> I'm kidding I wouldn't do that. I love them too much for that, but for the most part, they just lay on them. It's just something to lay on that doesn't necessarily smell like them exactly. And especially Nugget, because he hasn't been here since, he's only been here since June, so he doesn't, not everything smells like him yet. Okay, so here's Nugget. He had to make his face known. <laughs> and of course, he showed up right as I was piling it all up to put in my closet. So it was out of the way. So he got mad because I was taking my clothes away from him in his head. Or I was taking his clothes away from him in his head. So, yeah, and I did end up playing with him for a little bit. And let me know, does your cat like to play with your hair? I've never had a cat like that, but Nugget is obsessed with playing with my hair. So yeah, so that's going to be it for this Organize With Me video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you've not done so, hit the right subscribe button down below. Other than that, thank you for watching, and I will see you next week for two new videos, because next week, I think, I'm ch or in January, I'm changing up my schedule to Monday and Wednesday only. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.